welcome to Ask Sharon. I've been getting a lot of different questions, but a couple of them have been really interesting given what we're doing right now. Bake products are becoming a real problem in our schools. And so there's legislation to uh, tax them more equivalent to cigarettes uh, since they both use nicotine and they're both addictive um, because they're becoming so prevalent in schools. And there is data that shows that making it more expensive uh, keeps kids from, from getting those products. We had a fairly long work session where we get, got a great overview of all of the programs uh, that are designed to keep our kids safe from using uh, products like alcohol, cigarettes, and cannabis. And so that, that was, for me, was one of the most useful things we've done this year because I like to know whether what we are doing is working. A lot of the taxes on alcohol and cannabis and nicotine, uh, they go to these kinds of programs and the enforcement to make sure that our kids don't get these products. I was happy to know that the uh, uh, record of our cannabis dealers is very good at keeping kids from getting those products. Um, so as we move through the process, we'll be looking at the tax bills to look at what is the right amount to tax these products. We're looking at uh, adjusting our taxes on medical cannabis uh, because it shouldn't be treated the same as uh, recreational cannabis. Um, and we have bills on hemp, which um, is related to cannabis, but it doesn't get you high. And it is a growing industry for fiber, uh, medicine, and oil. Uh, so there's a lot going on in the Commerce and Gaming and Finance Committees. We're looking at taxes, we're looking at best practices and how we deal with these substances. Please send your questions through my email or through my telephone line. Thank you so much.